What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, were left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this. One day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are outcasts. You by choice. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough. And you, blessing its name like it was one I of I know my duty to them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow.
a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. Ross said never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. There is something up ahead. What's that? Last night? Well, we did. Kind of. 
Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So they always said watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. Why did they die here? What happened to them? Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come! <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. What do they mean? 
Take your bow. Bow? And enough muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. The wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called salve brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. Yeah. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of All Mother's embrace. Embrace? The Nora tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Mm. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. That's the last of them. Let's move on. Who's that? Ignore him. But why is he up there? Deb! Get back where you belong! Deb! Where are you? Ignore him. We are outcasts and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. And he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? <sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. There's the herd. All right. It's time to throw some rocks. But rocks can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the Watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. <whistles> Aloy, throw a rock near me. There. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Pay attention. Good. Now, gather stalks of ridgewood from the plants over there. 
Good. I see you've already gathered stocks of Ridgewood. Use the stocks as arrow shafts, and metal shards for our heads. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow me. Here, stay low in the grass, and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. Strider. One of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study it. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? The canister on its back. Is that a weakness? Yes. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Keep firing! Again! You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick! their path. Almost there. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. That 
boy should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Mother. My mother. Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It will be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow.
Rost! 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you've gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the Embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens... after the Proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't- There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. <sighs> and I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds... ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. Well, well, well. An outcast on my doorstep. All mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. Last time I visited, you had a trip caster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. Now that you've got yourself a trip caster, practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> I guess that concludes our business. All right. See you around. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. You have the fire arrows. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Look, Rost. I thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've... put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. 
So it is. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new. Something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. An entire lodge? Wrecked? By... sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone.
We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the Embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's Heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time? And every time, I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. Turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. 
I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? They're really good. Uh, I want to see something new. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway. I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Good luck. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. Of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Avar. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance of Hold your fruit, Nora. Uh, Nora Faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. 
Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th kid. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. I will of the Nora. On the eve of your moving, no, he's wearing a focus, just like mine. As the sun climbs, frames the stoutest. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Sisters, aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. 
I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl! I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Chuff. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very present here. <sighs> Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay, thanks. So, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest.
Braves, ready yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? It's a like razor. That's my razor. Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. And again. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Hervala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? Uh, uh, You're gonna uh, kill yourself! Uh, 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 it doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! Uh, there! Gotta catch up! Turn around! Who's in the I can't see! Box! The ball right behind you! Come on now! Faster! Stop dragging! Gotta keep going. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look! The outcast is catching up! How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. Made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. Come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. She didn't win! The outcast cheated! An outcast? Win the proving? Never! For she is a brave now. We did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. Ah! Ah! Dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you! Let's go. Now! Kill them! Quick! Run for the slip wire! Kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! Now, 
now. Descend while we have a chance. Dying. <gasps> to take her there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. Oh, <sighs> 
losing my focus. No. Rost saved me. They... They must have found me before I bled out. But... Why is no one here? Where am I? My clothes. Good. But where's my focus? It's here. Okay. Wait. Uh, am I inside the sacred mount? But only matriarchs are allowed inside. You are awake! You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Why are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Why did you bring me here? It seemed you were dying, and to die near one's mother is sacred. Lantra fought it, of course, but jezicided with me. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. What are you talking about? Come. What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. 
that you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. oh! Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. Please. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now, the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the Hymn of Atonement and beg for all Mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves! Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all Mother intended for you! The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lansra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you.
here, so what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a seeker? No, not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes, but it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive, and most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No, but you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. I need the gate opened. Then you'll have to talk to the new war chief, Rush, up on the wall. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You, a seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the Proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the Sacred Mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. And where were you when those children were being slaughtered? Or the war party ambushed? Guarding your little gate here? I am the Nora War Chief, and this gate is Mother's Watch. I have been anointed a seeker by the High Matriarchs. So do as I say and open the gate, or we will settle this in blood. The sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that?
you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. How? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy! How did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I've figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says. <sighs> Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Striders. I can test the override device on them. Should go in quiet. Didn't go through all of this time not trampled by a frightened herd. Okay, here it goes! It worked! It's not hostile. Seems almost tame. I think I could write it. There we go. That a boy. That's more like it. Yeah! 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 Ride! <laughs> this strider is fast! <laughs> this beats walking. I should try overriding other kinds of machines. Sounds of fighting. Just Watch yourselves! Bring it closer! Closer! High Matriarch Tirsa said you might know the way to Meridian. The capital of the Karja Sundom? You seek exile? No. A traitor named Olin. The Matriarchs made me a seeker so I could go after him. Huh. Well, then you should head north to Mother's Crown. If you make it, talk to Morea. She'll point the way. If I make it? The trail is dangerous. Ever since the War Party Massacre, our lands go unpatrolled and our borders unguarded. We have no war chief to lead us. Isn't that Resh's job? Ugh. Only because Sona went missing. I'd go after her myself, but she ordered me to hold this gate with my life. And so I have. You said war chief Sona is missing? Even when the war party was massacred, she wouldn't give up the chase. She called for volunteers and went after the killers. You didn't volunteer? Of course I did. But Sona denied me that. She ordered me to see the wounded back to the Embrace. And to guard this gate. To guard the Embrace. With my life. That was days ago. And since then, there's been no word from her. So there's no way to know if she's alive or dead. If anyone could survive out there, it would be her. Sona's prowess is legend. An unbending spear to measure ourselves against. Sounds like she sets a high standard. Oh, you have no idea. She's my mother. You said the war party was massacred. How? When word came of the attack on the Proving, War Chief Sona assembled a war party to give chase. But in their haste to get vengeance, some braves broke rank and raced ahead, straight into a trap. A pack of crazed machines, seething with corruption, fell upon the braves and savaged them. War Chief Sona led a countercharge and destroyed the machines, but. By then, the killers were gone, and our losses were extreme. I should be on my way. Aloy, before you make the journey to Mother's Crown and beyond, is there any chance you could search for Sona? The tribe needs her leadership. I'd go after her myself if she hadn't commanded me to hold this gate at all costs. Where was she last seen? The War Party Massacre site, a wooded hollow across from Devil's Thirst on this side of the river. You might be able to pick up her trail there. 
No, she went after the killers who attacked the Proving, who killed those we love, who tried to kill you. I, I get it, Varl. I'll see what I can do. Lots of machines, all controlled by the killers. The Nora managed to take down a corruptor. Maybe the war chief left something behind. Some clue as to where she went. But not before the killers used it to send the other machines against them. Look at this place. It's like Varl said. Another massacre. They sent a stampede of them down the slope. Brave! Let us speak! The dead and wounded all cleared away. Are there no more Braves or healers here? Just me. You're hurt. What happened? I didn't. It's madness out there. War Chief Sona sent me back to report. I'm no good to her like this. Varl sent me to look for Sona. Do you know where she is now? All I can tell you is where we parted. Near the metal tower, southeast of the ruins of Devil's Thirst. Look to the rise behind it with a lone boulder. I'll head for the embrace and report what I know to Varl and the others. May all mother lend you strength. You'll need it, going alone. This must be the rise Sona's runner told me about. The war chief stopped here. So where did she go next? They must have taken a moment to rest. That old bow has seen a lot of action. Dressings for wounds. Might be a blood trail I could follow. I should try my focus. A dead sawtooth. Maybe Sona took it out. She could be close. You're lucky I happened by. One heartbeat more, and that sawtooth would have torn you apart. Half a heartbeat more, and I would have killed it myself. Uh, so you're War Chief Sona? Varl asked me to find you. Has he held the gate? He has, bravely. I saw him kill a corrupted machine himself. But he worries for you. Our tribe needs strength, not sentiment. I've tracked some of the killers who struck the Proving. I crave vengeance. Do you? You have no idea. Show me then. Lend me your strength. Follow. Hours ago, I sent braves into hiding in the trees below. On my signal, they'll attack. The enemy and their demonic machines outnumber us. But we will have fury on our side. We could have more than that. Explain. That's Blaze. What we used to burn, they used to blast. It's how they dug out this pit. So we put fire to it and then? Boom. Then let us begin. Whoa, wait. Let's not rush. Give me some time to make an approach. If I end up alerting them, open fire. All right. Let's see what you can do. Whose body? 
body is that? Someone's out there killing us. Look! killers. I counted more at the war party massacre. If I have to chase their filthy shadows from here to Spears Reach, I will. You're hurt. Losing blood. My health is not your concern. No one doubts your determination, but you need rest. She's right, War Chief. Give your wounds time to close. Val! What are you doing here? I ordered you to hold that gate with your life. And so I did, until the runner you sent returned with news of his encounter with Aloy and your location. I left the gate well guarded. My place is here, with you, with our vengeance. Am I not owed that? Uh, maybe I should have a look around, see if I can figure out where the rest of the killers are. Do as you wish. Everyone else does. Mother... Commanders, over the past month, accidental blaze explosions have killed a dozen men. Here in the Ring of Metal, I've taken the precaution of placing our entire stockpile in a covered shelter, safe from stray sparks and lightning, and I've posted guards to control access. I urge you to take similar measures, or suffer the consequences. Supply Master Theron, out. <sighs> a blaze stockpile inside their base. Sabotage that, and we win. I found something. The rest of the killers are camped inside a ring of metal. Any idea what that means? Damn them. The ring of metal lies in the ruins of Devil's Grief. That ground is taboo. I will return to the matriarchs, beg them to make an exception. There's no time for that. Blood spilled calls for blood spilled. If the ground is cursed, then let our vengeance sanctify it. You blaspheme. Please, War Chief, break the taboo. Devil's Grief is a cursed place. But maybe Aloy's secret blessing can protect us. I'll send scouts ahead. Our force will assemble at the cliff above Red Echoes and launch our attack from there. Sounds like a plan. See you there. Devil's grief. Foreboding sight, huh? Don't you ever wonder what it used to look like? Back when the old ones lived here? You're not like other Nora. That's what they tell me. War Chief? Our scouts found enemy camps in the ruins, guarding the approach to the Ring of Metal. Then we should hit those camps first. Make sure they stay quiet. Agreed. Wipe out the camps, and our enemies in the Ring of Metal won't see us coming. I'll take out the alarms. We'll send braves to each camp to lie in wait. Which you start, they'll help finish.
The camps have been dealt with. Now to the Ring of Metal. Its high walls protect the enemy. We'll have to scale the height. Under fire if we're detected. I have another idea. Their base has a weakness. Send me in alone, and I'll exploit it. If I'm successful, I'll blow a hole in those walls big enough for the entire war party to charge through. Sounds like a plan. So long as I get to come with you. A war chief should be grateful for two arrows so eager to spring from the bow. Yes, Varl. Go with Aloy as her spearmate, but be vigilant. Yes, war chief. I will. Go now. We wait on your signal. You do have a plan, right? You followed me this far, even into the ruins. I thought you trusted me. I do, but how would you know that this base has a weakness? Patience, Farl. You'll know soon enough. Take my hand. There. See that covered shelter? Do you see those corruptors? Focus, Varl. That shelter is full of blaze. A whole stockpile of it. If I set it off, the explosion will destroy those corruptors and collapse the wall, too. A breach for the Nora to charge through. Can't hit it from here, though. We'll need to get closer. I'll get closer. You head back, tell Sona the plan, and lead them to that side of the ring. I'll see it done. And when the wall collapses, I'll be first through the breach. Now all I have to do is make it all happen. If I can do this quietly, it'll be a lot easier. Someone down over here. Doesn't look good. I should be able to hit the blaze from here. Mother, look upon our victory. A debt of blood is paid. Remember this day, brave Nora. From your lips to the goddess's ears. Yes, remember it. Be ready to leave this place. Let your spears and arrows rest in the bodies of the fallen. They are tainted, like these ruins. It's over. They won't be able to kill again. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Rost. They... 
couldn't leave the sacred land without visiting you. When you said goodbye, I told you I'd find you. Track you down. Well, looks like you did it after all. Went somewhere I can't follow. I should have known you'd be watching. At the proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. Thank you, Rost. I won't waste what you've given me. I promise. I'll make you proud. I've been... trying to puzzle it out, but... nothing makes sense. The killers came after me because I look like this... a woman. Older, with short hair. But why? And... What's the connection? If she's my mother, then... She didn't look Nora, but... If she lives inside the mountain, how could the killers know about her? The more I learn, the less I understand. I need to track down Olin, an outsider. He was at the festival the night before the proving. Somehow... The killers saw me through his focus. And he knew it. He could have warned me. When I find him... Well, he's gonna tell me everything he knows. And he's gonna pay. Well, I... I guess I should be going. Now, tribes been hit hard. Here she is. They made her a seeker. Come here, girl. Let's have a look at you. Fall apart now. The girl with the mark of a seeker. The sentinel saw you coming. You're Maria. Varl told me you'd know the way to Meridian. The Karja capital. West will take you to it. But their soldiers will stop you long before you get there. They can try. No, what I mean is, there's a Karja fort that guards the pass between East and West. Word is, the Karja have sealed the gate out of fear of the corrupted machines infesting our sacred land. So I'll find this Karja fort to the West? And beyond that, Meridian? Yes, the Karja call the place Day Tower. It's not far from the Forsaken Village. What Forsaken Village? It had a name once, not that it matters now. I was born there. What happened to it? The war. The Karja destroyed in one of their red raids. I was 15 at the time. I got away, others weren't so lucky. The Nora withdrew to this place, Mother's Crown, relinquished our claim on the valley. Even now, with the war behind us, we've left the valley be. A kind of buffer between the Sundom and our sacred land. I should be going. All right. Be careful out there, Aloy. I hope you find whatever it is you're after. Corrupter. upon us this day it wasn't the sun risking its ass down here so will you open the gate for me now <laughs> you heard her open the gates 
And send word to Captain Balan. Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay. Thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself. Captain Ballon, the guard at the gate said you'd been to Meridian recently. What can I expect on the trail? Nothing good. More machines all the time. And our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I can put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. I've got to get going. Thanks for the information. One moment. If you find yourself heading back toward the Sacred Land, there's something you could do for me. I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. All of them confirmed my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. If you could look for them, I'd appreciate it. Their last known location was near an abandoned Nora village, due east of here. I'll keep an eye out for them, if I'm over that way. and everyone will get in! That attack could have destroyed the town. Oh. Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Carja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, uh, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. It drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. But now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving, the man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. But why is it every time something terrible happens? Everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, so that makes it easier. Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. 
What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Owen is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. Blood for blood. Vengeance for Ursa. How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself! Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass! What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? <clears throat> oh, that was subtle. Here we are, trying not to break anything. Yeah. Other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? Aren't you gonna see what's down there? Did Olin ever invite you in? Nah. Closest I got was a doorstep to help him home after a night out. We drank a river that night, but I hold it well. Y usually. I'll look around. That's what we came for. Serve and they live. Disobey. And I will open their throats and leave their corpses to prune in the sun. They took his wife and child captive. They? Who's they? The killers. They told him to obey or they'd kill his family. map. The glyphs show places he visited. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me in the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read Glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus, it's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances, and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin. Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. 
If that device lets you see the Unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said? I'll see what I can do. Fascinating, if they weren't looking for me. ancient things back to life. Their power serves us. Machine demons from beneath the ground. It's a nightmare. Nightmares, yes. The worst dreams of our enemies come true. Yes, rise. will destroy us all! They will only destroy our enemies and bring us back the lands that were taken. Ah! 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 Stop working. Search the area. We may have intruders. Forgive this intrusion, Aloy. You left me no choice. <laughs> Who is this? An interested party. Now, the focuses are disabled, but I don't know for how long. The rest is up to you. Who is this?
promise. I'll tell you everything. I know you will. The killers who came for me at the Proving, who are they? The Eclipse. Some kind of holy warriors. A cult of the Shadow Karja. Shadow Karja? Except they're not like any Karja I've known. They don't pray to the sun. They worship some kind of devil. I'm not interested in their superstitions. Oh, it's not a superstition. Their devil is real. It has a name, a voice, the most terrible voice, and they do its bidding. You say this devil, the Eclipse Worship, has a name? Hades. That's what they call it. Hades. And you've heard it speak? Steal to my soul. I heard just once when it saw you. Such a voice. A cold. Awful jangle that scrapes your bones, that hollows your guts. A metal sound, but like nothing dug from the earth or smelted in a forge. And what did it say? System threat detected. Just three words. But in the voice of a devil. The Eclipse were sent to kill me because I look like another woman. Older, maybe twice my age, short hair. Who is she? I don't know. My focus found her image once, in the ruins at Maker's End. Maybe you can find her there. You found her image in the ruins? How? There was a door beside it, a kind of ancient device that contained the woman's image. My focus recorded the location. You do look like her. Is she your mother? I'm the one asking questions. Why are the Eclipse digging up ancient machines? And how do they get them to work? I thought they wanted them for scrap, but they brought them back to life. Plugged some kind of device into the corpses so that Hades could whisper to them and call them from their grave. I've fought that kind of machine before. Are there others? Yes. The ones you fought today they call Corruptors, but there are others. Much bigger, bristling with ancient weapons. Those they call Deathbringers. I've only seen them buried in the ground, but after today, anything is possible. Sounds to me like they're raising an army. If so, the world will fall. And I helped dig the pit. What are these Eclipse cultists after, besides me? They never said. But given the Karja civil war, they must want to overthrow Sun King of Odd and take Meridian back. What do I have to do with that? I don't know. When they attacked the Proving, a man came for me. Tall, strong, dead eyes. Healers. And who is he? The Terror of the Sun. Stacker of corpses, we Asuram called him, when he was the Mad Sun King's champion. If only he'd died with his king. But now he leads the Eclipse. I tell you, he's the most dangerous man alive. How did the Eclipse recruit you? I know they took your family hostage, but why you? I was a scrounger. A rummager in dark places, good at what I do. I suppose they knew I would serve them well as a scout. I had taken a delve near Maker's End. When I surfaced, they were waiting. I laughed when I saw the priest. But then he showed me Helis's encouragement. I didn't laugh after that. They gave me a focus to watch my every move. I followed orders. You had access to Meridian. Why didn't they get to Avad through you? Too much dirt under my nails for an audience with the one true Sun King. But whatever Ursa or Aaron told me, the Eclipse heard every word through my focus. That's why I couldn't warn you. If I'd tried, they would have killed my family. I've heard enough. It's time to finish this. I won't beg for my life. But if there's any mercy in you, free my family. Please. Where would I find them? My focus recorded the location. There are always guards there. You look like you can handle yourself. It will take many good deeds to make up for the crimes you've committed. You're sparing me? After all I've done? Yes. Forge a new life, Olin. One of better make. Then the rest of my life will be lived in your dead. Go to the place where your family is being held and wait for me. We'll make their lives the first ones you save. I didn't earn this mercy, but I will die to make myself worthy of it. I will be waiting for you. What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not gonna risk their lives. 
I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Are you sure you're all right? Well, I'm sober, so... no. <sighs> well, I'm glad you're thinking straight at least. Don't get used to it. Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. Or maybe she thought... It... Ah, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Ernst. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. You don't have any idea why she left in the middle of the night? No, but it must have been urgent. A message, a report of some new Shadow Karja threat, I don't know. Why would the Shadow Karja do this? Because they hate us, and Ursa most of all. She teamed up with Avad to kick their asses out of Meridian. They've been licking their wounds for two years, but they finally found a way to get back at her. All right, show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cliff. All right, this is it. Where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. These look like drag marks. What do you see there? This stain forms a line. As if blood dripped off the edge of something. Like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. I get why they wanted Ursa dead. But why fake an ambush? <sighs> There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? She's coming for us! Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. Looks like you could mount some equipment on that thing. There, by the tripod. A used power cell. This is Ursus 
helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torture me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Oseram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. Why well, paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor, someone around the same size, and mutilated it enough so it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You are needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Oseram gets special treatment, and now outlanders from the Savage What interest could the Sun King have in her? Passed by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. I've been here for two hours, and this Nora goes to the front of the line. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseram. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Oseram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Oseram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain 
peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies, I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. This must be Pitchcliff. Murad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. Sign of Marat's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. Has to be Marat's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliff. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back.
Dr. Voss says you gotta eat dirt. to get through. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. My turn. Try to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but. No, idiot. I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> Now listen, Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I will. I promise. You damn well better, little boy. Ursa. No, no. Please. <laughs> I won't let you down. I promise. Miranda. I'm so sorry. You've got to find Griffin. But Meridian's a big place. I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. Just notes about crafting. A little letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find Durval too. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy, I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about her son. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. 
It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Derval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Derval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She's not the one who's suffering now. You are. She died before you could say goodbye. Is it that obvious? You're right. I'm dwelling on my pain, not just hers. And there's only one thing left that can help. Find Derval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. This is the place! You home, Derval? I got a surprise for you! Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh... Will we survive? Probably not. Now push. We did it! Derval's best shot. The Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Duval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Duval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. Blue tracks. It's just a bit of blaze in them. Have you been attacked by the parts of the shadow? The parts of the The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Derval did find a way into the palace.
Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It didn't... I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the Mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. What's that? Why does Avad always have his blood? The fight. Can we finish this? I've got a son to kill. I've led an army. Killed kestrels and ravagers. A savage is nothing. Not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now.
To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You're strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's gonna take me far from Meridian. Well, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Aloy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> You're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit-chat, more drinking. Well... I know, you gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Aloy, you're a woman of your word. Owen, your family. I saw the threat from Helis. You have a wife and young boy? If I'd have striven to keep them safe, instead of all I've done. This is your chance, Olin. That's why we're here. I'll take it. A kinder deal was never struck. They're being held close by? Yes, the farmstead just beyond these rocks. I'll take you. That's it, nestled against the spurflints. So this is it. I can't bear being so close, and yet... You've been watching for a while? What's the best way in? You think if I had a head for strategy, either of us would be in this mess? Fair point. We could storm the front gate, Osram style. Or take it from the sides, or the ridge above. Maybe you could get on the rooftops. Not me. I'm too heavy cast. Should I do this alone? I don't doubt you could. But with the Eclipse, there's always another blade at your back. So I'll watch yours if you'll let me. Let's go. You have my steel.
body over here. My child! Aloy, I owe you three debts deep. Thank the sun! You found us! I found someone who had the courage I hoped for in myself. It's she who deserves your gratitude. I have much to confess. I accepted a devil's bargain. And others paid the price. And you think I don't know? I heard them talk. You know there's always been dirt on my hands. Now there's blood, too. Take your son up in those hands. Come back to the claim with us. You should listen to your wife, Olin. But Helis and his demons. I am honor-bound to help you, Aloy. With what little honor a Dyson like me has. Olin, whatever your debts, you don't owe them to me now. Go with your family. Show them you're a better man. Farewell, Aloy. Your mother. I hope you find her before they do. Maker's End. Not much farther now. All I said he found an image of a woman I resemble on an ancient device. She's my mother. Why would there be traces of her all the way out here? So far from the world, land. I don't get it. Who is she? Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. You! Spying through my focus again? <sighs> well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course before long. You know her as well as I do. Maybe better. But be wary. Maker's end is crawling in eclipse troops. To help you deal with them, I've lent some useful equipment just outside the ruins. Your focus will show the location. He said Elizabeth Sobek. What kind of name is that? Where he said it would be. Those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait! Damn him. These dig sites, they're massive. Another explosion. 
explosion. Rotate current! Weapons operation. Time to get it moving and be quick about it. No daydreaming. Soon this demon will have a run. Focus. It stopped working. Focus. Let's see what's on it. Let's see what you have to say. What? What is this? The entity lives. Unacceptable. 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 Did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower. Looks tight, but I can squeeze through. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? A Deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Pharaoh leads the world in... What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Looks like the way up. What's left of it? <laughs> Gonna be a long way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek.
All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy Ivan River Jones to recover Blanche data? Oh yes, I believe I do. The file has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You've screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're a killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another file has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. What? You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained! It can't be! You know what I mean! Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots friend all life on Earth, but somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final file has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? what? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What? 
made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. Is that your reaction to everything you just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that Thero robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am, or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobek woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. You just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So... What did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now... Are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you've still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Now if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining, and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How's that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. 
In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this... personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades. It, it didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom, with a terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the old ones had to destroy itself. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the old ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. So much for being careful. What is 
It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. Look, we'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? The Eclipse. Tampering with a metal devil. They don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. 
When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? <sighs> Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. <sighs> and the bad? It's directly underneath the citadel. The palace at Sunfall. <sighs> the capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades, a whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero Dawn? What sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? Hi, Rost. I'll, uh, just take this off. Don't want him listening in. I Rost. A lot has happened. Elizabeth Sobek, she... couldn't have been my mother. She was an old one. She lived... ages ago. Still, there is a connection. The Hatch. It thought I was her. It's... it's really strange. Somehow... Elizabeth stopped war machines from... Destroying the world. She couldn't save the civilization of the old ones. That was destroyed, obviously. But life... It survived. She saved life from... Being devoured. I... I need to know how Elizabeth stopped the machines. If I can find the weapon she built... And use it... The Eclipse won't stand a chance. Speaking of the Eclipse... I think I had a run-in with Hades. I picked up a focus and... It was like... A cloud or... A dark swarm of... Something. And its voice... It was terrible. I don't know what Hades is or what it wants, but... It's evil. No other way to describe it. I... went to the Grave Horde. It lived up to its name. Millions of people... fought and died to give Elizabeth the time she needed... to finish Zero Dawn. The weapon she built, it, it wasn't there, but... I found out where she built it. A secret base west of here. Right under Sunfall, the capital of the Shadow Karja. So, getting inside, it's... Well, it's... it's gonna take some doing. Before I can get into the Zero Dawn base, I'm gonna have to crash the Eclipse Focus Network. It's... uh... it's complicated. I know where to go. Silence says it won't be too dangerous, but... Since when do I trust him? I've, I've got to do it. I need to know what Elizabeth built. The weapon that stopped the war machines. And the connection between us, it's... 
It's still a mystery. One I intend to solve. Well, I got a focus network and all to crash, so... Guess I should be going. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh, wait. Oh, God. We won't. I do all the dangerous stuff. You just don't. Oh, the handholds, right where you said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. All right, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. When night falls, we'll talk. At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the Focus Network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests, always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. <laughs> the tall legs are just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a repel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure for it. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. 
Everything here is raw. Just get to the module and destroy it. I see the module. Good. Now be quick. This... This is Hades? Aloy, this is not the time. It's... a metal devil. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy! Do as I say, or all is lost. Entity has come here. Entity miscalculated. Entity. Cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. Maybe you are. But this isn't! Destroy the entity! going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. Sunfall. 
lead can drown Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. It looked like he was giving them orders. Did I crash the network or not? In theory, all should be well. By the glory of the sun revealed, behold, radiant Edaman. The one true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law! I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Mm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside? I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you're no killer for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. The balustrade. It's a short drop from there. side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure, as year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. 
I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped welcome to project zero dawn zero dawn we found it are you really so surprised Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. The Zero Dawn is a top-secret super-weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is... that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super-weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... Somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. 
Kestrels. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? A tomb? news and it's all true the pharaoh plague is devouring the biosphere life itself will cease to exist but does that have to be the end what if we could give life a future what if we could build a kind of seed from which on a dead planet life could blossom anew this is the aim the hope of project zero dawn to create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. So, the whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine, a machine of creation. Elizabeth this for life for us but 
Why Hades, then? If it was part of Gaia, how'd it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot? Why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the Archive of Knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. I'm Gaia. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon. But hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So... Yes. Time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical at places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, the Thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Rochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but... As one of the authors of the Accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors, to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. Cradle facilities. 
Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. All Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is, give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Us would benefit from antilopone morphologies, though capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek. As I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead. In fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this... I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. 
You're too valuable. Suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? If you're gonna go on babbling like this all night, could you just kill me now? Oh no. We're in no hurry, you and I. Not now. Maybe some physical torture to distract me from your voice? At that moment, on the mountain, I aimed to kill you with dispatch, and yet did not. Why? This failing troubled my thoughts haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you here, so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be, predestined and preordained. You're an idiot, a dangerous idiot, but an idiot. All this talk of destiny and fate, I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? You're being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then get to the cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. 
a sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> oh. So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! <laughs> Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else? Proud and broad light of day. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the radiance in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! Come and get it! Those components 
on the side of its head. This has nothing to do with his first attack. That canister on the sail. It's important. Maybe those carcasses have parts out of it. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun wing at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora's sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Oh, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy. When you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn Bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! on fire. They embrace her. Watchtower's burning. The 
Thunderjaw, right? The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. And we'll never reach the edge. That's right! Bring down the mountain! Braves, to Aloy's side! Now! For Aloy! For the For our mother! <laughs> Varl and Sona, they're still alive. Another metal devil struck down upon the slopes. If you hadn't returned, the tribe would have been lost. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families, God be praised. But braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched Deathbringers and Corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the Embrace to make our stand, but they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree, but I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches, but it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. I need to go inside the mountain. 
and the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. Aloy! Oh, you've returned! Teb? I'm glad to see you. Your injuries... are they serious? A gash or two. <laughs> Nothing I couldn't sew back together with a needle and thread. Guess being a stitcher came in handy in combat after all, huh? <laughs> yes, I suppose it did. Aloy! You've come back! So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. I fought my way past an army while you cowered in this cave. You really think you can stop me? Aloy, that is not necessary. What would you know about what's necessary? About what it took for me to be standing here, now, on this threshold? This was my birthright. You don't get to take it from me a second time. Hold for identiscan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha Registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sovac. You are clear to proceed. See you inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. So this is Aluthia. This is where I was born. Where you were made. So this was it. Where you were born. But... But why? These look like... Cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those... Things. The, the multi-servitors. They took care of them. There was no one else. So 
someday. That's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, Father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! Children, let's run a jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, Father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away! I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person! You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back if we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now and take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here and sleep and remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave and you will learn. They were trapped here their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious space. What, what went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Learned for identity scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. Why not? Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Dr. Please get message with focus. That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Elizabeth, this message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time. 
but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them, in place. It, they are escaping, but to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if... Oh! The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Aloy, forgive! Forgive! The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was... Her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of, of the, the Nora. Nora. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy Nora anointed of the Nora. Nora. Up. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of, of the Nora. Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders. Whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here. Everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, 
and you're willing. Go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora! Make way for me! Way. That she may forge the path for others to follow. Aloy, how kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh, the will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa, but I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Tirsa, I want to know Rost's story, why he was made an outcast. He never told me, said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh, yes, that. What crime did he commit? Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. What? What do you mean? Many years ago, before the derangement, before the Red Raids. A band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? What, what was her name? Alana. She was just six years old. Nora Braves couldn't stop twelve Outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a Brave came within bowshot, the Outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. What happened to Rost's daughter? She was... killed? Rost was one of the braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, Mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. Are you saying that Rost went after them? That he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a Death Seeker. A Death Seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking, and in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I, I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with All Mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. But, but Ross did return. 
Yes. A full year later. And terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was... delirious. In agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo. And reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So Rost never finished his mission? To the contrary, he killed all twelve. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian, Ban-Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us, hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him. Leaving us, the matriarchs, in a difficult position. Why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a death seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so on the condition he never speak to anyone of this exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. Rost was overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude, and was happy to do so. But then you found me, and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The Matriarchs feared you, and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. He certainly tried anyway. You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. All right, dear sir, that's, that's quite a story. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years. I wish I could have done more, but I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. The way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new?
Guessing that I'm almost there. been in here before. To a point. You'll see. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. <laughs> This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed. This must have been where they left. What's left of it? Once this was all enclosed by rock and metal. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. 
Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Not what I signed up for. Either we send someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we- Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good endings at letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And, uh, See you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, alright? Liz. I'm okay with this. I wanna go home. transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were... beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Saying that shows you misunderstand her completely. To her, everyone had value. Everything was worth saving. She gave her life in service to that idea. Even after everything you've learned, you still don't get it. The simplest thing about her, and the most important. No. She had a superior mind, and a superior will. It wasn't about sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your... loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. A 
lot out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the set system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents, those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we are living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. The Master Override... it's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Sound good? Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. Uh, you're... Here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered. Such knowledge, you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's... 
code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission, to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. 
system threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. You've done terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Aloy, I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, perhaps, but basically the same. Really? So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. Do you remember the night before the proving? The final lesson you taught me? You said I needed to serve a purpose bigger than myself. Well, it <laughs> couldn't get much bigger. It's the same purpose that drove Elizabeth and Gaia when they were willing to die for. So yeah, I'll do it. Give myself to that for Elizabeth and Gaia and for you. I've got what I need to destroy Hades, the Master Override. Now all I have to do is drive it into Hades' skull, so no problem there. The final battle will be fought at Meridian. Hades will come for the Spire, and I'll be ready. I found out how Elizabeth died. She sacrificed herself. As you might expect, said something about going home. I wonder where that was for her. If I ever find out, I'd like to go there. See it myself. Assuming I actually survived the battle at Meridian, of course. Which, let's face it, is... well... Who knows? Well, I'll, um... I'll try to come back if I can, but I, I guess this, this might be it. Thank you, Rost. Thank you for everything.
Aloy. What brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the City Guard fortify the Western Ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. You can't let this happen again. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. And the Spire. Aaron and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. The Ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes, bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Aloy, I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry, I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. Huh. So you must be Aloy then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well struck. Do all Osirim flirt at the most inopportune times? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even started yet. Petra Forge Woman, I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the next dust storm. Murad asked me to check over the city arsenal first. Cannons have aged well, but I've cleared their throats so they can really roar. 
Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. It hits nice and wide. No need to aim it like a bow. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen... many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the Goddess says, or because you say. I think the Goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you, you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. Well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys dressed like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. And let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line. line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit them like a hammer till they can't, can't hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Erend. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you. How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. There are signs from the west. Sun King of Ad awaits you at the Temple of the Sun.
Campfires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not with smoke. And what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. you spoke of to the guns to the guns now by the sun do what she says <laughs> set loaded all of you be ready to fire will the guns hold them back Take up a camp on a platform. 
Aloy. 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 Tab. My old mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, were they? No, no, wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Tab. I've got to go. It's begun. Hades is transmitting. gotten through the defenses. The Nora. Baron's vanguard. I have to get up there. Aloy! It's Aloy! Well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. It's my fight. I can't ask you to come with me. We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. Hawk and Thrush, let's go. Arrival of Entity has been anticipated. Entity will not halt transmission. To contrary, Calculations are precise. Presence of entity has been accounted for.
clear. The Deathbringer falls. The battle is ours. System threat imminent. I'm more than a threat. Master Override armed. To activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Purging Extinction Protocol. Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV. So the grass caught fire. And uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query. You were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query. What did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something. To serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious and willful, unstoppable even, but with enough compassion to 
kill the world. Just a little bit. Anyway, that's all I've got for now, Gaia. Time to tuck in. I wish you a pleasant sleep, Elizabeth. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow. Friend, remember me. We've still so much to discuss. So much you never revealed. Your masters, for example. The ones who sent the signal that woke you. Knowledge has its rewards, don't you think? Well, let's begin. 